Well, to tell you the truth is, when I was ill, that's how I got through my cancer and brain tumour. I was always laughing and joking, that's how I got through it. Craig Shergold, the English boy who once was certain to die, is getting better. Three weeks ago, on March the 1st, University of Virginia surgeons removed almost 90% of a teratoma, a rare type of tumour, from the 11-year-old's brain. You, you had this operation almost, what, 28 years ago? 27 years ago, mate, close enough. It was quite a, a major operation, wasn't it? It was, it was life-saving, in fact, Yeah, it, it was. Stephen Truby, a small-time comedian, actor and filmmaker, met Craig while on holiday. Craig had always dreamt of being a stand-up comedian. Steve offered to help him fulfil his dreams, turning Craig from the guy that could put a smile on your face to a comedian that will warm the world with laughter. Steve meets up with Craig and his dad to explain how difficult it is, not just the work involved, but the commitment required to achieve the smallest of success. Yeah, while we're waiting for Craig, I was going to ask you, he, he's done, he, you know, when I first met him on holiday, he was telling jokes and he just yeah. lightens up the room, you know. He's, he's one of these kids who, uh, he's, he's one of these likeable yeah, like persons. Like the you know, yeah. and he gets on with everybody. Yeah. And he never upsets so well. No. And, no. And he's just amazing, really. Yeah, he is, you know, yeah. it's, just, it's nice for me to feel He's my son. When, when we met Mr. Kluge, he always Who's said he, Mr. Kluge? He, he's, he's the one that paid for oh, Craig's operation. Oh, he was a billionaire American. Billionaire, yeah. Oh, right, yeah. Well, he, he said, do you know, your f Craig is so funny, yeah. it makes me laugh. Yeah. He should be a comedian. I, I guess um, I've been involved in a lot of things, but never being part of a process of he helping someone live. Yeah. But uh, as I say, I won't never put any too much pressure on him. If he wants to stop, he don't want to do it, he's in control of no, all no, of that. That's right. and, um, I've already told him that. The share goals believe Craig's story has a worldwide message. I just think there's more good than bad in the world. Sadly, Craig's mum is in a nursing home as she suffers from severe dementia. Craig's dad, Ernie, who had a heart attack two years ago, looks after him. Steve works tirelessly on Craig's first five minutes of material. He's sticking at joke telling in the early stages and will slowly introduce Craig's appearance and story as he progresses. My name is Craig, the cheeky training comedian. Try saying that after a few drinks. <laughs> I feel like I've had a few drinks trying to read this, I tell you. We used to have sex of cards in our gardens. People used to come around from malls. To look at them. To see them, yeah. So if you'd like to give him a great reception, it's our training comedian, it's Mr. Craig Shergold. Absolutely amazing. I mean, for someone that hasn't actually had much rehearsing, I thought he was incredible. How was that your first gig? It was brilliant, mate. I don't think the postman was happy as Clifford was I was receiving them. <laughs> and before you asked, no, it wasn't stuck together. But we're sinking under an avalanche of cards, and we just can't keep it up, you know. Craig's mum, Marion, wrote a book, A Mother's Story which was made into a Hollywood film, The Miracle of the Cards. And how many cards did you receive? You really want to know? Yeah. Over 350 million. Get out of town. As you know, you've just had him in the studio. Don't try heckling Craig Shergold. Because... He will get you. Oh, he will get you. He really will. Steve has contacted an old friend of his, Miles Crawford, who's been in the business for nigh on 30 years. He runs Joke Club and is one of the biggest independent comedy promoters in the country. Thank you very much, for a warm welcome. You're so much better than the show I had last night. <laughs> Craig was the star of the show, and the mayor of Sevenoaks wanted to meet him. You never know, you never know what to expect, and you know, you were. 
you wouldn't have thought you'd only been doing it such a short space of time. That's a spare one. These are your stage shirts. Oh, brilliant, man. Steve has also decided to get rid of the old joggers and pumps in favour of a new suit and a hat. Wow, look at that. Is that what I'm going to be gigging? Yeah. Oh, look at that poster. I can't believe it's me up there, Steve. <laughs> look, I've got my own mirror and chair here, mate. Yeah, put your makeup on and everything. Can we put my jacket up up there, please? Yes. Yeah, let's have a look at this. And you've got no lead, it's a radio mic. Craig is about to find out the magnitude of his achievement. His first one-man show. All my mates in hospital, I'd like to do this for them. They always said I was funny when I was laughing about in hospital. They would love to have seen this. It's amazing, I can't believe it. I'm getting choked up myself now, mate. I'm not going to cry though, because that goes too far. Getting ready for the show tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the man who is warming the world of laughter, Craig Shergold. 